Imagine the unimaginable, America's largest aircraft carrier, a symbol of its military might, attacked in the Red Sea. This isn't a scene from a Hollywood blockbuster, but a real-life event that took place in the strategic waters of the Red Sea, a mammoth structure. This aircraft carrier is more than a floating airfield. It's a floating city, housing thousands of crew members, dozens of aircraft, and the power to project American influence far from home. But this titan was not invincible. The culprits? Iran and the Houthis, two entities with a history of resistance against American influence and a shared ideology that fuels their defiance. Their motivations for such a daring strike can be traced back to a complex web of geopolitical tensions, proxy wars, and a struggle for regional dominance. The strike was unthinkable, audacious. It was a direct challenge to the United States, a defiance of international norms. The world watched in disbelief as America's floating fortress was attacked. This was a shocking assault that sent ripples around the globe. To understand the magnitude of this event, one must trace back the series of incidents leading to this attack. The tensions between Iran and the United States have been simmering for years, like a kettle on a hot stove. It's a complex web of political maneuvering, ideological clashes and strategic power plays. The relationship, fraught with misunderstandings and mistrust, has been on a downward spiral, each incident adding fuel to an already blazing fire. Enter the Houthis, a group that has been in a constant state of conflict with various factions within and outside of Yemen. Their alliance with Iran has been a significant factor in the escalation of tensions in the region. A pawn in a larger game, they have been instrumental in the mounting pressures leading up to the attack. The Red Sea, a strategic waterway, cannot be overlooked in this narrative. This vital maritime route, a lifeline for global trade, has been a bone of contention among the nations that border it. The presence of America's largest aircraft carrier in these waters was seen as a provocation by some and a necessary show of power by others. The stage was set, the actors were in place, the tensions were high. Each event, each decision, each action was a piece of a puzzle, fitting together to form a picture of a reality that seemed almost unthinkable. The US-Iran relations, the role of the Houthis, and the strategic importance of the Red Sea were all threads woven into a tapestry of conflict and confrontation. It was a volatile situation, a powder keg of potential disaster. A volatile situation that was a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. The day of reckoning arrived, a calculated strike on the unsuspecting aircraft carrier. Picture this, a serene morning on the Red Sea, the American naval force still awakening to their daily routine. Suddenly, the tranquility shattered by an unexpected attack. Iran and the Houthis had launched a daring offensive on America's largest aircraft carrier. The attack was meticulously planned, executed with precision that sent shivers down the spine of military strategists worldwide. Stealth and surprise were their allies as they bypassed advanced radar systems, catching the mammoth vessel off guard. The strike was swift, brutal and devastating. The damages were extensive. The carrier, once a symbol of American naval might, was now a smoldering, crippled giant. Flames danced across the deck, smoke billowed into the sky, and the cries of the crew echoed over the tumultuous sea. The ship's defenses scrambled, but the initial onslaught had taken its toll. In the immediate aftermath, chaos reigned. Rescue efforts were launched, damage control teams sprung into action, and the wounded were rushed to safety. Despite the shock and confusion, the resilience of the crew shone through, embodying the spirit of unity in adversity. Yet, the implications of the attack were far-reaching. It marked a shift in the global power balance, a bold statement from Iran and the Houthis. It was a demonstration of their capabilities, a challenge to the perceived invulnerability of American naval power. 
a day that would go down in history as a stark reminder of the complexities of global power dynamics. The dust settles and the world reels from the audacious attack. The echo of the audacious strike on America's largest aircraft carrier in the Red Sea continues to reverberate around the globe. An attack of this magnitude, orchestrated by Iran and the Houthis, was previously unthinkable. Yet, it has now become a stark reality. The international community is left aghast. The shock waves of the attack extend beyond the immediate physical damage, penetrating deep into diplomatic and political spheres. The pre-existing tensions between the United States, Iran and the Houthis have been exacerbated and the potential implications for future relations are far-reaching. Let's take a step back and summarize the key events. The unexpected build-up, the sudden attack and the subsequent aftermath each element intertwines to form a narrative that will undoubtedly shape the course of military and political history. This audacious assault isn't just a single incident. It's a transformative event, a catalyst that will determine the dynamics of international relations for years to come. A single attack that shook the world, forever altering the course of military and political history.